TLC viewers concluded that Robin Brown and Cody appear to be rather scheming individuals. The stars of Sister Women appear committed to defrauding the other women of their possessions in some way. Fans now question if, before they even came to Flagstaff, they plan to convince the other wives to pay for a lavish mansion for Robin. Robin Brown's eye was always fixed on the prizes. Fans recently talked about how the Sister Wives star now seems to always pan to obtain some of Mary's possessions. Robin pretended to be Mary's best friend while Mary was divorcing Cody to make way for him to wed Robin and adopt her children. She and Cody didn't address how Mary's possessions would be safeguarded in the event that she left the family. Robin Brown invested very little money in the Coyote Pass homes. Furthermore, Janelle and Mary provided the majority of the funding for her mansion. However, the majority of the land is now registered in her name. Just 15% is all that poor Mary has left. Janelle lives in a modest rental while she owns a house. When in Las Vegas, did Robin Brown intend to purchase the mansion? The mansion was practically paid for by Janelle and Mary. Mary and Janelle managed to make ends meet with modest rents, but Cody's favorite wife didn't play around when she purchased the large home. She is actually the sole woman who truly has security from losing all of her assets that the other sister wives paid for because she is now legally wedded to Cody. An intriguing query concerning Robin Brown's mansion was posed by an OP on Reddit. It was intended for POV Robin's luxury pad before they relocated to Flagstaff, thus, it's very serendipitous that her initial rental property was listed for sale concurrently with the listing of the ideal home in the ideal neighborhood. It almost seems as though the rental period was designed to entice them to sell a mansion and obtain financing from all the other houses in Vegas, and that the house had a role in their decision to purchase CP. Fans of TLC also left comments. It comes amid rumors that Mike Kelty began about her father's desire to move to Utah and purchase a smaller home. Um, the sale of the mansion and the majority of the Coyote Pass land might put them in a great position. Fans of Sister Wives, however, don't believe they had any grand plans before leaving Las Vegas. They weren't really that organized, it's Cody. Before the loan was finalized, they had to occupy it as a short-term rental for a minimum of several months. It's Cody. They don't make any prior plans. Recall from season two when they spent Christmas in a little lodge and were forced to transport all of their belongings back and forth in the one car with four-wheel drive because they didn't know other cars couldn't get that far. However, some speculate that Robin might have planned it. One of them expressed the following opinion. Cody lacks planning, and Robin makes careful planning, the union, Dayton's university, and her mood board. Relocating to her family's home in Vegas. She never acts without first making a detailed plan. What did you think of the claim that it's improbable that Cody and Robin Brown intended to purchase that specific mansion prior to their departure from Las Vegas? Do you also think that their reputation for not thinking things through is poor? Please share your opinions in the comments section and return soon for more Sister Wives news.